634 now just about in this morning we are driving Tampa Bay forward and taking a look at what city planners in Sarasota are trying to do to reduce traffic jams and bad accidents. In just a couple of weeks, commissioners could approve a wish list of road projects. ABC Action News reporter Chad Mills is live in Sarasota with what's on that list and how those projects could help. Good morning, Chad. Good morning, Sarah. Well, the list is a long one, but there is one big takeaway. Helping traffic flow better from the north side of town in the distance down US 41, where I'm standing right here, to the south side of town. And of course, the city of Sarasota, a big fan of roundabouts. They are a common sight all over the city already. And commissioners could approve a list in a few days that would add more roundabouts to the city. The city would actually like to add them at at least four different intersections on US 41, including in downtown at Main Street and Ringling Boulevard. Aside from those projects, the city wants to replace a few bridges and make many roads across the city, including Main Street, better for people walking or riding bicycles. One city transportation planner tells me her drive to work is already improving after previous projects and thinks the new projects will make it even better. My daily commute is from the city of Bradenton, so I go all the way from up north, down south, and you take US 41, and there is such a difference driving on a straight sh shot through uh, traffic signals at high speeds than being uh, going through lower speeds in those roundabouts. It's much more comfortable and, the, and a much more enjoyable experience uh, as a driver. And that's the point of it all, because the city says roundabouts keep traffic flowing better and drastically reduce the rate of bad accidents. That is why so many roundabouts are on the city's wish list. City commissioners are set to approve the wish list on January 3rd, and then it'll be sent to regional transportation planners to see which of the projects get funding. Some of the major projects they are proposing could take some time, so patience is a virtue. Projects may start construction five years from now. There are a couple, though, on the list that could start even sooner. We will have the full list on our website this morning, abcactionnews.com. Live in Sarasota, Chad Mills, ABC Action News. Thank you, Chad. If you run into any traffic issues while you're out and about during the holidays, we want to know about it. The info for our driving Tampa Bay forward tip line is right here. It's also on abcactionnews.com slash driving.